Welcome back to Learn Your Radiology, everyone, for this case number 10 of our brain tumor board review. For this case, we have a pediatric case. This is a six-year-old boy presenting with headache. Here we have some images from an MRI through the posterior fossa of this six-year-old boy. Uh, this is a flare image. This is a post-contrast T1, and this is an ADC map. Go ahead and get your bearings for where this abnormality is. Think about where it might be arising from. Here we have a sagittal flare from a 3D flare through the same region. This can give you a little bit more information about maybe where you think that thing is originating, whether it's originating in the fourth ventricle from the brainstem or from the cerebellum. Your first question is, what's the most likely diagnosis? So in your mind, what do you think is this most likely to be? And then your second question is, which of the following tumors has the lowest ADC values? Is it pilocytic gastrocytoma? appendomoma, hemangioblastoma, or medulloblastoma. So when you're thinking about a differential diagnosis of a young patient with a posterior fossa mass, the main things you're thinking about are pilocytic astrocytoma. This is the most common posterior fossa mass in uh, young adults and children. Appendomoma is a very common mass, uh, a little more solid, often described as a toothpaste-like lesion, squeezing out of the fourth ventricle and arising within the ventricle. And then these are the more aggressive tumors. Medulloblastomas are densely cellular tumors arising in the cerebellum. And atypical teratoid rhabdoid tumors are also very aggressive uh, lesions, often arising in even younger patients. So the most common patient for ATRT is going to be six months old or younger. Now, when you think about these, if you look at these, and the reason I spread them out this way is they kind of cluster together in terms of decreasing ADC values, so diffusion values. As they get darker on ADC, they're more likely to be more aggressive, and you can often differentiate these by their ADC value. So pilocytic astrocytomas are the most diffusion permissive, whereas medulloblastomas and ATRTs are the most diffusion restricting. This was a case of medulloblastoma. Now there's four types of medulloblastomas, and there's been a lot of description of papers trying to differentiate these based on where their location is and what their prognosis is. I don't think you really have to know too much about this other than that these subtypes exist. Uh, these tumors are very aggressive posterior fossa tumors. They're very cellular and they have reduced diffusion. And many times you're gonna see them arising from the fourth ventricular roof or walls. They can be periventricular or in the cerebellar hemispheres, but often they're gonna have low ADC values. So they'll be dark on ADC, bright on diffusion. Now their appearance is gonna be very similar to ATRT. But as I mentioned, ATRTs are usually in patients less than six months old. So if you have a patient that's two years old or older, think about medulloblastoma. If you have a patient uh, that's a little bit younger, think about ATRT. Here you see the images that we had, this flare. We've got a mass in the fourth ventricle here, kind of completely effacing the fourth ventricle. It's very hard on this image to tell where it's arising from. On your post contrast, you have some solidly enhancing components in the center maybe some less enhancing components around the margins. But on your ADC, you can clearly see you've got pretty low diffusion values here, certainly lower than the uh, adjacent um, brainstem and cerebellar hemisphere. Uh, here, so as I discussed, the ones with the lowest diffusion value are medulloblastoma and ATRT. Luckily, this question didn't give you ATRT as an option. And uh, as I said, you can really go based on age if you see a reduced diffusion highly cellular mass in the posterior fossa. Young patients, less than two, think about ATRT. Two years or older, think about medulloblastoma, which was your answer to this question. Uh, again, posterior fossa tumors with reduced diffusion, medulloblastoma, and ATRT. Thanks again for tuning into case 10 of the Brain Tours Board Review. We're gonna have more cases coming up soon. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Check out some of the playlists which have all of the review videos and uh, be sure to check out some of the additional videos on the site. Thank you.